switch to Spectrum Mobile and get unlimited data for only $29.99 per month each when you get two or more lines. You could save hundreds on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, hidden fees, and no contracts. Click to try the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator, and in three easy steps, you'll see how much you could save. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save. Offer valid for new customers on two or more unlimited lines. Spectrum Internet required. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com for details. This is nonsense. We know what they really are. In doing so, he has put before the world a choice. We must meet the moment, and we must not look away. During a late-night meeting of the United Nations Security Council, U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield said Russia's recognition of regions in eastern Ukraine is, in her words, clearly the basis for Russia's attempt to create a pretext for further invasion of Ukraine. She said that Russia's actions are a violation of the basic principles of international law. The stock market reopens this morning after the holiday weekend. While the threat of war in Europe will play a big role, traders are also watching the Federal Reserve closely. The central bank's governor spoke at a convention and supports a larger rate hike. She says forceful action is necessary to help reduce record high inflation. The Fed is expected to raise rates several times. Experts predict that that will start after a meeting next month. The new Game of Thrones prequel is one step closer to a release. Brian Shook has the details. Series author George R.R. Martin confirmed in a blog post that shooting has wrapped for the first season of House of the Dragon, the prequel to the popular franchise. A release date has not yet been confirmed for the series, which will air on HBO and HBO Max. I'm Brian Shook. And some people with older cell phones are about to wake up without service. AT&T is the first major carrier to shut down its 3G network today, but even those who've upgraded their phones could still be impacted. Car navigation systems that rely on 3G networks might stop working, along with medical devices and home alarms. Take note, T-Mobile will follow in July, while Verizon customers will have until the end of the year. You're listening to the latest from NBC News Radio. WQE 99.1 FM Noonan, WBRQ LaGrange, WZV 90.5 FM Lionville, JC Sports Networks. Tune in Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 1030 to listen to the Sustainable Brown Girl Radio Show, hosted by me, Ariel Green. Each week, we'll learn ways to be more sustainable in our everyday lives. We'll discuss exciting environmental news, ways to get involved locally, and we'll hear from women of color who are saving the planet in their own unique ways. Be sure to listen to the Sustainable Brown Girl Radio Show every Thursday at 10 a.m. Happiness can be achieved simply by going outside. Take a look at the world around you. Pay attention to the things outside your world. As the winter comes and depression becomes more dominant in most people's lives, getting some sun, taking a short walk can help you to find brief moments of peace and happiness. This is Dr. Lewis Boynton wishing you a happy and harmonious day. Good Seed Christian Books and Apparel located at 205 South Greenwood Street in LaGrange. They offer a large selection of Bible books, commentary, and other study help. Gospel music, men's suits and tie set, pastor's robe, choir robes, and more. Ladies dresses, Sunday hats, and handbags. Textbooks for Bible college students. Church supplies, communion set, gloves, soundtracks, and more. Good Seed Christian Books and Apparel at 205 South Greenwood Street in LaGrange. I am Apostle Deborah Harris, Pastor Apostle of Kingdom Connected Ministries International at 121 Hillwood Circle, Noonan, Georgia. Presenting Connecting the Kingdom, Connecting Kingdom Citizens, Kingdom Businesses, and Advancing the Kingdom of God in this hour. Join us each Tuesday at 10 o'clock a.m. with guests who are sharing their faith, business, and ministry.
Apostle Jeffrey Harris of Kingdom Connected Ministries International here in Noonan, Georgia with my husband, Elder Kenneth Harris. And I am here today with um, a guest, um, just about need to call him a partner <laughs> because he's been here several times. And we always enjoy talking about the things of God, talking about the life of God, talking about yes. Jesus yes. and everything that he means to us. And so today yes. um, we're going to talk about, we, we want to try and admonish the people of God to remain steadfast, yes. unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And according to Apostle Paul, he says, so that our labor, everything that we've done in the past, everything that we're doing today will not be in vain. Mm -hmm. But we're going to, we're, we're just going to, you know, talk about that and share some, uh, uh, share other scriptures to support that. And, uh, and even talk about how, what do we need to do yes. in order to remain steadfast? Right, right. Because it's one thing to, to tell you that we need to be steadfast and remain in God, continue to walk in God, but we also need to share how we need to do that. Yes. Wouldn't you agree, that, Minister Sinkin? That's right, yes. Yes, yes. So you can um, introduce yourself or just go right with the scripture. I don't know um, who's listening, and it could be <laughs> that we have some new listeners. Yes. I don't know, but... What? Let me just ask you this question. Let me say this. This is Minister St. Phil. He and I go way back to mm -hmm. our original, uh, our early days in uh, Christian living. Yes, yes. Early days in Christian living. And so we've come back around the mountain. He and I have gotten together. Mm -hmm. And we're just excited always to yes. talk about the things of God yes. and to share, to be a witness for God, yes, yes. to be a witness for God. And so this is what we are doing today. We are uh, members, well, not members. We are disciples in the kingdom of God. Yes. And we're here today to try to disciple others. So Minister St. Phil, tell me, um, what are your, give, give me one thought, uh, concerning, I know you have many, but let's start with one thought concerning, uh, being steadfast in, um, the, the ways and the life of God. Understanding. I know people, people going to be like, what you mean? Understanding how to believe. Yes. Because, okay. because we've been, we've been preached to is believe, believe, believe mm -hmm. and see. But our believing only goes so far because most people don't understand the believing it's talking about. Okay. Because okay. really to believe the way God wants us to believe is you're going to have to get in the word. You know, after you hear the preacher preach the word, you're going to have to get in the word yourself. Oh, absolutely. And, and take time to read <clears throat> and and study the Bible says study to show thyself approved. Yes. But then after you study, you're going to have to meditate on it. Yes. Yes. Because it's just like a person that, that has a trade mm -hmm. before, before they, they get good at that trade. They read the book. They listen to the instructor and then they go home and they study. Mm -hmm. And then you have to have some, have some own hands. Right. And see what believers don't understand their own hands is that time of meditation, that time okay. of getting in the presence with God. Yes. And then that's when God gives you that own hands. Training. Time, training. Okay. Okay. And that's where most of us fail. We fail because we don't want, we don't want to take that time to be on hand trained. Yes. And then another thing, is believers, we need to come together and begin to just talk. You know, I, what I used to do uh, when I when I lived in Carroll County, I used to me and some of the some of the uh, people, especially a couple of ministers, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. come to my house and we get together and after church, right, right, and talk about the Lord. 
Mm-hmm. Because see, some people think, oh, I'm, that's enough now. We've talked about the Lord enough now that we heard about him at church. <laughs> but I never get enough of t- hearing and talking about the Lord. <laughs> because that's what built me up. Is sitting down talking with people that love to talk about the Lord. Right. Because see, the thing is, we're too busy trying to take care of the cares of this life. Mm-hmm. And God wants us to take time to you know, mold and, 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 and cultivate our spirit, man. Right. Well, let me say this. If we don't, if we don't do it right after church, mm-hmm. other than going to dinner and then continuing to talk, it's okay, right? Yeah, it's okay. As long as we're talking about the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I, right, right, right. I just got tickled because, you know, Lord forbid, we, we try to keep people we try to hold people's attention mm-hmm. in the church setting. Mm-hmm. And then of course you're saying right after church. And that's not to say that there are people that don't want to do that. Right, there may right, be people right, that right. want there to are. do that. They there are. are. There and uh, because again, it's just an extension mm-hmm. of your, of the learning process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to read uh, this full scripture. Um, I want to read this full scripture. Uh, first Corinthians 15 and 58, because that's what we're, com- where we're coming from. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not what I want. Um, <laughs> and, um, I was looking, for it was good. Cause I had that, I had read that this morning. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But, uh, let me, I just, uh, anyway, Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let me see. Um, anyway, I'm going to read the King James translation, and then I'm going to come back and read another translation. And the King James says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, Mm -hmm. unmovable, Mm -hmm. always abounding in the, the work, in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Um, and then the new living translation said, so my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable, always work enthusiastically for the Lord. Mm -hmm. For you know that nothing Nothing. you do for the Lord is ever useless. useless. (laughs) So here's the deal. Uh, our goal in this hour Mm -hmm. and, and, and our focus whenever we share on this radio broadcast our focus is always this hour, right, right. the hour that we're living right, in right yes. now, uh, and the problems and the trials that we are going through as the body of Christ, mm-hmm. not our personal right, problems. Right, right. We're not, we're not talking about our personal situations. Mm-hmm. We may give a personal testimony, but our focus is for the body of Christ. Right. So here's the deal. Our goal this morning is to try to admonish you. Our our goal is to admonish you. Our goal is to empower you Mm -hmm. to remain in the work of the Lord, to be steadfast in it. This is not the hour to quit. This is not the hour to slow down. This is not the hour to become complacent. Right. It's not the hour to be, um, uh, Lazy, right? It is right. this is the hour to be uh, moving in such a way mm-hmm. that we are making a difference in the lives of everybody that we encounter, right? Because we understand that everybody that we encounter, we have been entrusted, right, with those people as neighbors. Yes, they are our neighbors, yes. And the Bible speaks of how we are to treat our neighbors, how we are to deal with them. So our goal is to be steadfast, Mm -hmm. never get tired of working for the, for the Lord, because as the new living translation made reference to it, it says so that we need to understand that our work in the Lord is never useless. useless. So in other words, if it's never useless, that means everything that we do, mm-hmm. it means a lot right, right. to kingdom living right. and kingdom um, advancement. Mm-hmm. It means a lot. Right. We've got to be those that are going to say to, first of all, to ourselves, mm-hmm. God, 
I will never fall short right. of loving you mm. or mm. working for you mm. because of your life in me. Right. And that that has to be what we examine. That right. has to be what we examine. Is God's life right. in us? Right, right. Big that was a big that's a big word there. Yeah. Yes, oh, it's his life <laughs> in yeah. us. Because you know, uh, it's it's one thing um this morning God said to me. Mm-hmm. He said that um, Christians, the, the the believers, have to come to a point to where they get in the Word and in, and spend time with Him so much until faith become a reflex. Yes. Because for an, an, a good example, I was giving to my brother this morning too. Um, a good example is if somebody take an iron. Uh-huh. That you iron clothes with, uh-huh. and even if it hadn't been, if if it's not plugged up, and let's say let's say it's it's been off for two or three days, even if somebody take that unplugged iron and taking it, act like they're gonna touch you with it. Yes, yes. Your reflexes snatch away. Uh huh. And so God wants us as Christians yes. to where when the enemy come. And try to cause us to do something that's go- that will cause that will take faith to you know to to defeat him in yes to defeat him. God wants us to the point to where he he if he even come up and act like he's going to do something right I, in reflex our faith kicks in yes absolutely instead of fear kicking in yes yes instead of us having to go get the Bible oh I need to find something for this. Yes. But because the Holy Spirit kicks in so quick, our faith kicks in quick that quick too. Yes. Yes, and it should. And and again, we have to examine along with what you're saying, which mm-hmm. is good, we have to examine the fact uh what are we doing right. to increase our faith? Right. What are we doing to increase our faith? Are we exercising the word of God? Mm-hmm. In our lives, and when I say exercising, whenever you think of the word exercising, that means you're going to have to do something. That's it. That's it. Are you taking the word and doing it? Right. That is what helps our faith because our faith cometh by hearing. That's right. And hearing Mm -hmm. by the word of God, that verse of scripture tells us that we cannot just hear it. Right. But we have to also do it. Right. When hearing and doing works together right like a well-fitted glove yes when we hear and when we do that increases our faith that's right because when you hear the word and you move out to do the word Mm -hmm. then all that's going to do is empower you and increase your faith for the next move of god the next assignment or the next step of faith right be not hearers only yes and let me let me share this let me share this uh, minister st phil with the radio audience uh, and for those that are listening that phrase that the Apostle Paul used in the book of James Mm -hmm. that we are to not just be hearers of the word of God but to be doers only because here's the deal in the the days of the Apostle James Mm -hmm. in the days of the and if I said Apostle Paul earlier, forgive Mm -hmm. me, is James. In the Mm -hmm. days of the Apostle James, uh, they were paying uh, people to be professional healers. Yes, yes. They were saying (laughs) to them, we're going to pay you to go to this setting and Mm -hmm. and, and to just be in the audience as a listener. Right. But now, our payment is not for you to do any of it. Right. Our payment is for you to just uh, listen only. Yeah, that's what to they just, were doing. Yeah. To just hear it. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Yeah, but and if you choose to do it, that's on you. That's your mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. But our payment is all we need for you to do is show up, mm-hmm. have listening ears, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Well, the uh, the Apostle James was really speaking against that. Right. For the people of God, mm-hmm. he was saying to them, "We, you cannot be a professional here." Right. Right. You must be a doer. Right. And this is why I'm saying to you, don't just be hearers only. That's right. But be doers also. That's right. right. 
And so here we are talking about maintaining our place in Christ and being steadfast. Mm -hmm. The only way we're going to be said, the word itself, steadfastness mm -hmm. means that you've got to continue right, right, in right, doing, right, right, not just hearing, right, but continue in doing the work of the Lord and to know that your work is never useless. Right. I don't care if you, I don't care if you're the custodian at the church or for any church function. Mm -hmm. um, the goal of that is, is for you to do the best job. Right, right. And remain in that place until God mm -hmm. calls you to a yes, higher place. Yes, yes. But know that your job as a custodian is never useless. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's needful. It's yes. necessary. Yes. It's empowering. And just think of he was there. Exactly. <laughs> Think of how that place would be. Yes. It would be a big mess. But at going back to when you were talking about um, exercising your faith yes, and exercising yes. the word of God. Now, if, if, if you take like your uh, basketball team. Yes. If you all didn't practice. Oh, my. It, it would be terrible. So when you when you have them out there practicing, they have you. It, it, there's that hands-on coming again. Mm -hmm. They they you had to send them through certain drills, so that will be a reflex for them. Right, right. And when they get in the game, they don't have to ask themselves now. How do I supposed to do supposed to do this? And they they it, it became a part of them. Yes, yes, yes. So when they go out there, they went through the drills so much that it became a part of them that they don't have to even think about it, you know, mentally no, think no, about it. No, not to think about it because it, 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 has, it has become a part of their regiment, right. their doing. Yes. And so as Christians, this is how we have to become with the things of God, yes. with, the words, with the word of God. Yes. And, 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 and working with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because see, that's the problem. One of the problems, rather than people working with the Holy Spirit, they've come to the point to where they work with their own feelings and emotions. Mm. And that is not what God calls us, called us to do. No, 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 no. And that's, that is a quick way mm -hmm. to fall by the wayside. Right. That's right. a quick way to become... Uh, overwhelmed um, and to quickly throw in the towel That's when it. when you're thinking about you mm -hmm. and not allowing the my my oh gosh my goal my prayer mm -hmm. is for people to realize the ministry of the Holy Spirit yeah and yeah. We're not, listen we we're still on the subject mm. we're still on the topic. Mm. And that is, how do we remain steadfast? Yes. We cannot be steadfast outside of God's life in us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's life in us is, is what uh, propels us mm -hmm. into the destinies and the purpose and the plans of God. His life in us. Right, right. Because here... here I'm going to share this. Uh, Romans 8 and 9 says, however, you are not in the flesh... Right. But in the spirit. Yes. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Yes. Look. Yes. If yes. indeed. If. Yes. Which suggests that the spirit of God may not dwell in you. Mm, mm, mm. And here's the deal. If he dwells in you, others will know it. That's right. You will know it. That's right. And then he goes on to say, but if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. He mm -hmm. does not belong to God. Right. This is, listen, radio audience, listen, my friends, God's people. In order for us to remain steadfast and, un and unmovable in this day and hour, we must possess Holy Spirit's mm -hmm. life in us. Yes, yes. He is our sustainer. Yes. He yes. is the one, one that's going to keep us. Yes. No one else. Now, we're not saying, and, and, and I want to reference the fact that, uh, because I think we mentioned something earlier about the word of God. Mm -hmm. 
the word of God and the Holy Spirit works work together. together. Yes. Again, they are like a well fitted glove. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They work so well together. Right. And you can't have one without the other. Let me let me give you an example of what, how God gave me of this. Okay. If you get a technician, uh-huh. uh, let's say uh, an auto technician, mm-hmm. you bring him in a garage and, you know, you say, all right, you're working for me. Okay. Okay. You pull a car up in there. Mm-hmm. Question. That now, well, first of all, that that mechanic he has all the experience, all the knowledge he need, but he don't have any tools in that garage. My God, <laughs> can't do anything for you. He's the best technician <clears throat> around. Okay, but with no tools, what can he do? Nothing. So God showed me. The word is like putting tools in there for the Holy Ghost to use. My God, yes. And so what's happening, a lot of people, a lot of Christians have the Holy Spirit on the inside, but they're not giving the Holy Ghost anything to use to work with. To work with. And and that's good. I like that. Because you know what God uh, said to me some years back? Mm -hmm. God said to me, he says, he literally, when I tell you, these words resounded in my spirit. Mm -hmm. He said, give me something. To mm, work with. Mm, huh. Now, I already knew what he was referring to because right. I've always been an avid reader. Right, right, right. Very from day one. Right. Because if you remember at our former church, that's right. what I used to talk right. about all the time. Yeah. And I got I got a lot of um I, I got some, <laughs> what would you call it? A um, little flag. A little flag. Or, or just, I got, you know, people, I had a few people that were saying to me, I right, don't take all that. Right, yes, right. it did. It That's took right. all that and more. You don't know what God needed to do in me. Right. I, I mean, here I am, a wretch undone. Right. And God needed to get in there and clean some things up. Mm-hmm. And you ought to be glad <laughs> that he did it. Amen. But, um. <laughs> Anyway, he's, but, and I knew what he was referring to. Right, right. He was with referring, what he was referring to for me mm-hmm. was vision. Mm. Give me more. What, what are you, are you envisioning anything? Mm. Mm. Are you desiring anything more for me? Wow. That's what he was referring to. I said, okay, wow. God, you hadn't said nothing but a word. And here we go. And mm. from that point forward, um, I have been seeking God, decreeing and declaring, mm-hmm. calling for things which be not as though they mm-hmm. are. Uh, and it has all been about the kingdom, wow. nothing about wow. me. Wow. And then God led me into another place where I believe now that the um, the uh, spirit of the Antichrist, ancient demons mm-hmm. have tried to hinder mm-hmm the work and the plan of God yeah, that yeah. he wants to do through me. Yeah. I know that yeah. because I know what he told me. I knew when he told me that I began to move out. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you all of it was powerful, nothing that I'm going to share on the radio and, right. and I'll share this with right, you eventually. Right. Um, but nothing I'm going to share on the radio today, mm-hmm. but I have moved out to give God something to work mm, with. Mm. Now I'm just going to remind God, okay, God, you said That's it. it. That's it. You said it. I've held on to that right, promise. Right. I'm looking for this thing. I'm looking for all of this to manifest. Right. I'm looking for all of it to manifest. Mm. And it's going to manifest. I don't mm-hmm. know how you're going to do mm. it, God, but, you but you're going to do, do it. it. Yeah. You're going to do it. I, I, I'm, I'm walking like Abraham. Right. Abraham received the promises of God. Right, right. God said it to him. Mm. And when God said it to him, God, uh, Abraham never faltered, neither did he fail mm-hmm. to continue to walk. Mm. And basically, that's what I've been doing. It's continuing to walk. Right, right, right. I've not seen the manifestation of all that he wants to do. But you can't give in. But I'm not giving up. And neither am I giving in. I'm still holding God to give me something to work with. Right. And 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 as He manifests this thing before my very eyes, I am mm. gonna know that it's mm. God. I'm gonna know that it's mm. God. Yes. And you know, uh, Minister Cynthia, as we're talking about being steadfast mm-hmm. in this hour, mm-hmm. I want to share 
this other scripture that came to my came to my spirit this mm-hmm. morning by way of importation. Uh, and um, I'm going to share this because this is something, this is another way that we need to, this is something else that we need to do mm-hmm. in order for us to be steadfast. Right. Uh, we don't know, according to biblical scholars, mm-hmm. we don't know, and, and the book of Hebrews has not been given uh, per se uh, a, a, uh, a, a what I'm going to say a second author mm-hmm. but we know the first author is the Holy Ghost mm-hmm. and that's all we need yeah. to know right. so Hebrews 12 and 1 says and I'm going to read that in King James Bible it says wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness mm-hmm. he says uh, the writer says let us lay aside so every weight, every weight so and the sin so which easily. does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us mm-hmm. now new living translation therefore since we are surrounded by a large crowd of witnesses mm-hmm. to the life of faith mm-hmm. i love yeah, this translation yeah. mm-hmm. this is a yeah. this is a, a very accurate translation mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you that are listening that that knows Apostle Rick Renner, I don't know if you're familiar with that name. I've heard the name. Very mm-hmm. profound scholar. Mm-hmm. Very uh, sincere man of God. Mm-hmm. Um, he has uh, made it made a statement that said a uh, lot of lot of lot of our a lot of our well-known pastors listen to him mm-hmm. um, and they, they call him, they consult him for information and understanding mm-hmm. because he understands the Greek and the Hebrew right. writings of the scripture so well. Right. Very profound. Right. Anyway, this is where I got that from. I said, okay, God, thank you. But then when you read it, it is, it is very accurate to what God is saying uh-huh. in the King James. Uh-huh. And it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a, a huge crowd of witnesses mm-hmm. to the life of faith. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To the life of faith. Right, right. Which is what we're supposed to be living. Right, right. A life of faith, not fear. Right. Let us strip all. Every way that slows us down. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, when I think about that, I think about the runner. Right. Every sport, every other sport for the most part, they, they, they usually have on more clothing right. than the runner. <laughs> the runner is almost naked. Right. right. Why? Well, they, because they of the up, weight they, of the clothing. Yeah. They don't need on weighty clothing. Right. Anything that, that can slow them down, they get rid of it. They get rid of it. And so this is what this this is saying. It says, uh, strip it off. Mm-hmm. It says, especially the sin mm-hmm. that so easily, easily trip us up. Yes. And there are those sins yes. that we can become involved in. We mm-hmm. can still be doing that's tripping us right, up. Right. And he says, and let us run with endurance yes. the race God has set before. Let us run to endure. Right, right. We don't need to run to try to be the first one. Right. But we've got to run to endure. Run to last. Mm-hmm. Because none of us know the day or the hour right, when right. the Son of Man right. will return. Right. And neither do we know our expiration date. Except we do it <laughs> except we take it ourselves. That's it. <laughs> we don't know our expiration date. None of us know. So whereas uh we 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 want to we want to claim God's promises mm. of three score and ten. Right, right. That's what? Seventy. Seventy, 70 plus. Yep. But how about some of us could go further than that. That's right. We 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 can That's right. we can last longer than that. So if that is the case, think about your age. I think about my age. Right. I, we got so many more years right. to go. <laughs> now we need to endure. That's it. We have to last, and that's right. what we're talking about if, this morning. Because if the Lord don't don't come before before we you know expire exactly we need to take every each and every one of those days yes making sure that we're glorifying god yes and not ourselves right and that's what has happened 
we're putting too much emphasis on our life. Right, right. When our life shouldn't even matter. Right. Now, and, and let me explain that. I always have to explain what I'm saying because people... People don't interpret. Right. They don't interpret right. They don't interpret uh, the the actual meaning of it. You're going to have five or six, if not more than that, different Mm -hmm. interpretations of what I just said. So what I'm trying to say is God, God does want us to take care of ourselves. He wants us to look nice, to be nice, smell nice. He wants us to have uh, things. Uh, He wants everything to be good with us. Mm But he still does not want us to have us right. as our main focus. Right, right. We should, we should, we should, be, he should be first. Yes. My God. And the thing is, going back to where it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes. So long as we're putting him first, he's going to know that else. the other stuff you talked about, self, yes. ourself is taken care of. Yes. So. Mm. And what he's saying is he can he can take care of us better than we can take Ooh, care of us if that. we seek the kingdom of God first. You better say that because I'm telling you, I've already tried that. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that to take now, care of me yeah, better. Now, now, going back to when you were talking about that great cloud of witnesses. Yes. That great cloud of witnesses. Now, this is Hebrews 12 where you started off. Hebrews yes. 12, 1. Yes. It's talking about the great cloud of witnesses it talked about in in uh, he, Hebrews chapter 11. Uh-huh. What we call the, the faith, faith chapter. Yes, the call that, of faith. Those are the great cloud of yes. witnesses. Yes. He's saying, look, go back, look at that. See, see that great cloud of witnesses. Yes. And yes. let that encourage you. And it should to to cast away all those weights and sins because of their acts of faith. Right, they were faith people, and to realize the Holy Spirit only came upon them, but not He wasn't in them. Yes, which makes a and big they did difference. It, and they did it without the abiding Holy Ghost. Yes, great feats, great feats yes. for God, great feats, things that most of us probably would never right. do right uh except we are staying connected with god right My and see god. that's that's why when some people even christians some christians read the bible and they can't believe some of the stuff that the people did in the old testament because they're not understanding the god that's that who's who's inside of them they're not taking time to fellowship with him you remember that hands-on i talked about yeah, yeah. they're not taking time to get their hands on with the holy spirit well, and, and you are absolutely right. Um, and one thing we do also notice is we're not seeing that the God of yesterday mm-hmm. is the same today. Mm, mm, mm. The God of yesterday, what he did with the great cloud of mm-hmm. witnesses mm-hmm. through their acts of faith. Right. He's still, he's doing the same That's thing right. today. That's right. He does not change. He says, I am God mm-hmm. and I change if mm-hmm. not. That's so right. He he hasn't changed. And what does it say? Only believe. Yes. See, he did it with the apostles. You can go see where he did it with the apostles. Mm. So mm. We're, 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 when we receive Jesus in our heart and receive the Holy Spirit, we're in the same position that the apostles were in. Yeah. All believers, all believers are in the same position when we receive God in our heart to to have everything that he has for Mm -hmm. us. Now, check this out. Check this out. Um, New Living Translation, John 15 and 7. Very mm-hmm. familiar place in the scripture. You know mm-hmm. this. But if you remain in me and my words remain mm-hmm. in you, mm-hmm. you may ask for anything you want and mm-hmm. it will be granted. That yes, is, yes, 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 yes. that goes along with Matthew 6 right. and 33. Right. right. The goal is, and what we're talking about this morning is allowing the life giving spirit of God. Yes. To abide in us. Yes. And now, of course, this says, which is no different than what I just said, because the word and the spirit, they are the same. Right. 
It says, but if you remain in me, if a believer mm. remains mm. in God, mm. we're talking about being steadfast, yeah. right? Yes. He says, and that, and that word remains simply means to abide. Yes. If you yes. abide, stay in. Yes. Not in and out. Stay in yes. me. And, and he says, you you then are in a position. Yes. You're in a place mm. to ask God yes. for anything. Yes, yes, yes. And he'll give it to you. Now, I know I know you you're you're a person that know a lot about plants. Yes, I do. <laughs> now, what happens to that plant if you don't give it fresh water every day? It's going to wither and die. And see, that's the problem happening to a lot of Christians, they're not giving it that fresh water. Right. And, you know, it, it, they, they're a lot of Christians expecting that same water they put in yesterday and, and last month to keep keep that, that plant, you know, right. where it's not withering. Right. So what, what I'm basically saying, you have to get the word of God. And take time in the presence of God because you have to put those sun, those uh, uh, um, those plants in the sun also, right? Well, there are those that that require sun, full sun, and some light. And well, well, they, either way, they're gonna get daylight. But mm -hmm. some require full sun and some require shade because mm -hmm. some plants are so much more tender than others mm -hmm. that the sun mm -hmm. will actually burn them up. Oh, I've done that plenty of times. Mm. So yeah. we so we can't be tender Christians. No, we cannot. We oh. Not be. Oh. No, no sir. And that that's unfortunately that is what is happening. Mm. We are Ooh. we we are oh, we're not we're not the bold. We do not possess the boldness of a lion mm. as God has prescribed us in different places. Right. Uh, we know that uh, Peter says that Satan uh, comes as an adversary, uh, seeking whom he may devour, as a roaring lion, right, lion right, seeking right, whom he right. may devour. Mm -hmm. But we also as Christians have been described as being bold, yes. being courageous, mm -hmm. being fierce, yes. not afraid, mm -hmm. not afraid. Right. And, 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 and he says it, he says, God is not giving you a spirit of fear and timidity, right, right, right. but what? Of love, love, power, power and a and sign. A sign. So, no, we can't be those that right. are timid, right. those that are afraid. Right. Um, and, you know, our conversation has to be seasoned with salt. Right. Yes. You and know, we yes. have to be, we, Holy Spirit can help us to be what, exactly what we need to be. Right. If we try to be it ourselves, we will never be balanced. But Holy yes. Spirit brings the balance in being bold and courageous right. as well as being humble and meek. Right. And like I say, the boldness of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's the main, yes. main That's key. It. That's boldness it. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. But this is the thing. If you're not taking time to get in that place where you can trust the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Then you're not, you're not going to be bold. You're not going to have enough confidence no. to trust the Holy Spirit. Everything points back to him. Yeah. Holy Spirit and the word. And so, so the thing is, we have to come to a point. This is this is why we get in the word. We get in the word. We read the word. Yes. We uh, a lot, and, and you know, if somebody that's not going to talk to us, mm -hmm. we're not going to trust them. No, 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 no. So we have to get in that place and allow him to speak to us. Yes, yes. So we can trust him. Yes. And see, so you only bold when you trust somebody. Yes, yes. Like, like this, mm -hmm. the, the the authority that you're speaking from. Yes. If you trust that he's going to back up what he said he would do, mm -hmm. you'll speak boldly then. Yeah. But if you're not sure he's going to do what he said he would do, you're not going to be boldly speaking about the things he tell you to speak about. Yeah, you're going to be. That's when that spirit of fear and timidity will, right. will sneak in. Right. And that's not that's not how it's supposed to be. Our lives have to be surrendered to God, mm -hmm. surrendered to God to the degree that we're always in the the 
presence of God. Right. Always in that place of desiring more. Yes. Glory being God. intimate with God. Yes. 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 Uh, walking with God through mm. and in his word. Right. So that we can be the men and women of God that we have been called to yes, be. Yes. And we can let our light shine. Yes. And think about David when he was a boy. Yes. Yes. David. Out there, out there when he was keeping the sheep. Yes. He, he, you know he had to be allowing God to minister to him. Oh, absolutely. And, and absolutely. teach him and build up his yes. trust. Yes. I, I would say absolutely, without a doubt, I really believe that I'm going to, I really do believe that, that David's assignment to shepherd the sheep. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about actual physical mm-hmm. sheep. Right, right. David's assignment to actually shepherd the sheep was an assignment mm-hmm. to train him. Right, right, right. To be prepared to deal with mm-hmm. uh, life mm-hmm. and life in general. Mm-hmm. David David was on assignment yes. in shepherding mm-hmm. the sheep. Yes. David wasn't just out there just doing a job and, and and not learning anything, but everything that happened with David while shepherding those sheep right. was a life's lesson mm-hmm. for him to then apply to his own life. Right. And in the days to come. That's the reason he was so fierce yes. and courageous yes. and bold without Holy Spirit in him. But we know that Holy Spirit came upon That's him. That's right. That's right. To stand against That's Goliath. Right. And and yes, because see, he had the confidence because he had spent time. Yes. With God. Practicing. Practicing life. Yes. And he and, boldly. And and I think I think and when I say practicing life, because I'm saying that because everything that he had to do to maintain the shit. Right, right. Uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, those were lessons mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that he had to practice mm-hmm. and he was later able mm-hmm. to use those same lessons because it, it, didn't he, didn't, didn't the scriptures teach that he fought a with a lion, a lion and the bear. bear. And so if he was able to fight with two of the most fiercest yeah. animals on this planet. Yes. Who was Goliath to him? <laughs> Even though he was a giant, but he says, if I, if, if God was with me when I fought the lion and the yes, bear, yes, that's it. Right why there. would he not be with me that's when it, I fought right Goliath? Because it. the truth of the matter is, the lion should have devoured him, mm-hmm. and the bear should have eaten him up. Because he was a little boy. He was young. He, David, did not possess the strength in and of himself. Right. To be a winner right. in either one of those mm. battles, Ooh. he had to rely on the living God. Oh my God! And when he relied on the living God, this is how he was able to be victorious. Yes. With Goliath, and and, and Lord, you, we don't even want to get on that story. But listen, <laughs> you already know they brought. They tried to bring him. Armor, uh, armor from Saul, the king's. Song. Yeah, that was too big for <laughs> yeah. him. And David says, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, I don't need this." See, he says, time. "I'm gonna, I'm gonna use what I've been using. Yes, what I'm I gonna know. use what I know yes. I can handle and be successful with. Yes. trusting yes. in the living God. Yes. And so David said, "No, you can take that back because I got what I need. Ooh, ooh. I got all that I need. Ooh. And it has to be the same way with us." Yes. This is if we're walking in that steadfast relationship with mm. God. And I don't know about anybody else, radio audience, as you're listening. I don't know where you are with God. Mm-hmm. I don't know where you are in your relationship with God, but I know where I am. And mm-hmm. I know that, first of all, most of all, God says that he has no respect of person. That's right. That's right. And he shows no favoritism. That's right. Whatever he does in me, mm-hmm. he can do the same thing in you. That's right. Amen. That's right. And 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 we have to understand too that God does not discriminate. Mm-mm, he no. does not deal with one culture of people uh one way and he deal with another culture of people another way. Mm-mm. God 
God is a just, just God. He's just. And he deals with all of us to say. Yes. What we need to understand is how are we going to deal with God? Mm. How are we going to wow. deal with God? Are we going to spend time with God? Are we going to be in his presence? Are mm. we going to be on our face before God in prayer and even in fasting? And How are we going to deal with God? And you know, that takes commitment. Yes, it does. And people, some people fear commitment. They, Yes, they do. Yes, and, they do. And that has been the problem with a lot of Christians they they are afraid to take make the commitment to wow. spend the time with God because you got so many other things pulling on you. Right, right. You got listen to this. You got the the uh, 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 basketball game pulling on you. Wow. Yes. The football game. Yes. Of course, it's over with for right now. Yes. You got uh, oh. social media pulling, pulling on, on you. you. Yes. Yes. You got you got sleepiness and tiredness because you just had tired of sitting around doing nothing, pulling on you. Yes, and you know what? Let me let me emphasize before we come to a close because I I read the scripture from Hebrews twelve and one, but this is what I wanted to emphasize. I wanted to emphasize the weight, mm -hmm. and it just came to me mm -hmm. with what you were saying. Mm -hmm. All of these things pulling, pulling on, you. on you, weight. Yes. Bitterness, mm. jealousy, yes. anger, mm. resentment, um, uh, you know, laziness, yes. procrastination, yes. Uh, a lack of being in God's presence. Mm. All of these things are weight yes. that, that, you know, weight and in some instances can be ca categorized as sin. Right, right. And this is what we don't need. In this hour. Mm -mm. That's why the writer says to lay them aside. Lay them aside. Strip lay them, them off. <laughs> Strip yes. them off. Don't let bitterness. Don't let jealousy. Something you have to do. Yes. Don't <laughs> let it hinder you. Right. From prospering in the life of God. Mm. And prospering. We can't always uh, uh, make it synonymous with prosperity right. as in financial but prospering mm -hmm. prospering in God mm -hmm. don't let these things steal your joy right. that's prosperity right. Right. don't let them steal your peace prosperity right. don't let them steal your love yes all that's this it. is what I'm talking about prospering in God mm. you say the word prosper first thing come to people's mind is money Mighty most it's not always money. money right but I would rather have God's love his peace yes. and his joy prosper in the love of God any mm. day over money Mm. As long as I have his peace, his love, and his joy, mm -hmm. then you can give me some money. I know how to handle mm. it. I know That's how to it. deal with it. That's it. You understand? That's it. The wisdom I, of God. Yes. And I won't let those things keep me mm -hmm. from continuing in mm. God. If I if I if I start with his love, right, his joy, right, and his peace right, first, right. then nothing else can hinder me from continuing in God. Right. But it's when you start with money first mm -hmm. that yeah. you'll be hindered. Yeah. Right. Ooh, because that's goodness. what it goes back to Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom that's of God. It. And if we do that out of order, if we think it's, if we seek things first, then so we're, we're out of order. Yeah, because the thing, the thing, that's what happened to Adam and Eve. Yes. When they, when they sin, they start seeing the things. Yes. And wanting them. Mm -hmm. They start being more aware of, oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Because weren't they walking with God they were in the cool with, of the that's day? That's it. And all that their their main thing was only the things of God. Yes. And to hear God's voice. Yes. And to hear what he had to say and just be in his presence. Yes. Yes. And then after that, the, 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 everything else took first place before God. Yes. That's true. That is so true. That is so true. And, and and so today, what we've got to understand is we really need to be able to walk with God, mm -hmm. remain with God, that's it. and continue to do the work of God. Because that's mm -hmm. what we're talking about. Be steadfast, unmovable, yes. always. Yes. Not sometimes. Always. 
always abounding in the work of the Lord yes. so that our labor will not be in vain. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we have to be those. We have to be careful. And, and we're, this is how we're going to close out a minister saying, we have to be careful that we're not listening to the wrong people that's right. because that's another weight. Mm-hmm. And that's another problem in mm-hmm. the body of Christ. We start, we, Paul says, uh, who has hindered you mm, yes. when you were running mm, so well? Mm. So that's another reason to fall yes. off yes. the wagon. Yes. Um, we have to be careful that we're not listening to the wrong right. people because when we start to listen to the wrong people, mm-hmm. these people will then hinder us mm-hmm. and they that's will it. pull us off the wagon. Yeah. I mean, off the path. Yeah. I keep, I'm protect those, off the protect wagon. those gates. Yes. Pull us off the wagon. And yes, we do need to mm-hmm. because, and we're referring to the, the ear gate, mm-hmm. the eye gate. That's it. More specifically. Yes. There are others, but those two yes. for sure. Yes. Because you're hearing the wrong message. And what we have to understand is that Satan never rested. Right. Mm-mm. When we accepted Jesus. Right, right. And it's for some beautiful. reason, as Christians, we think that just because we we have accepted Jesus, oh, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> you can be good. <laughs> you can be good. You can be good. You can you can get with God and you can stay with God. Mm-hmm. But what we have to understand is, and this is the part that nobody wants to hear. Nobody wants to right, know right. about the real truth of Satan <laughs> and his kingdom. That's it. But he has a That's kingdom. It. And world. his <laughs> goal is to pull us off the mark, mm-hmm. is to make sure that we do not stay with God. That's right. That's right. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, mm-hmm. he says, look, I ain't going to burn by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to burn. Listen, and hell I'm, was not even made for us. No, it wasn't. It was made for him and his demons. Right. But he got busy the moment yeah. he got kicked yeah. out of heaven. Yeah. And he says, listen, I ain't going to burn by myself. Mm-hmm. I don't know what, you know, we've said. <laughs> He wanna he wanna he wanna make he wanna make God look like he, he wasn't strong enough to keep everybody. Yeah, and, and, and definitely wanna make God look crazy now. Right. Y'all can't do nothing, y'all with y'all that you y'all but you know, we've said that. We've said it in our, you know, we've just said it in general conversation. I ain't going down by myself. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not you, uh, uh, I'm not going down by myself. Somebody, if I go down, somebody yeah, going yeah. down with me. Well, it's the same language yeah. that Satan has. Mm-hmm. I am not going down by mm-hmm. myself. That's it. If I go down, somebody <laughs> else going down with me. And that's, that's his a, mission like and his yeah. goal. But Minister Cynthia, we have come to the end of this awesome discussion yes and we thank god for those that are listening yes and um if you have one last little thing let me say this we thank god for pastor jimmy ellison yay pastor jimmy who's not listening (laughs) thank god for pastor jimmy (laughs) but minister zingfield do you have one last yeah, when you were talking about the work of God, yes. I read uh, in the gospel where this uh, the uh, Pharisees ask, you know, what, ask Jesus, what was the works of God? Mm-hmm. And he said, believe. Believe. Okay. Yeah. So. Amen. Believe. believe. That's what we need to do. And that believe. means get in the word to help your belief. Yes. 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 Amen. Thank you, Minister Sinkfield, for coming up for this empowering hour. Yes. Yes. Very much so empowering yes. hour. Connecting the kingdom of God. Yes. Such an mm. empowering hour. Yes. Thank you, radio audience. Until next Tuesday, be blessed and stay safe in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jimmy Ellis, and I'm the pastor here at Noonan City Church. I want to thank you for... Imagine this, a day filled with indulgence, bursting with excitement, and packed with extraordinary moments that build memories to last a lifetime. A day that is unmistakably yours. 
at the place that is undeniably spectacular. Whether you're winning big, dining lavishly, or relaxing oh so comfortably, it's your getaway reimagined at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Switch to Spectrum Mobile and get unlimited data for only $29.99 per month each when you get two or more lines. You could save hundreds on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, hidden fees, and no contracts. Click to try the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator, and in three easy steps, you'll see how much you could save. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save. Offer valid for new customers on two or more unlimited lines. Spectrum Internet required. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com for details.